Welcome to OpenShift Container Security Demo. In this demo, we will be uh, showing the uh, OpenShift Container Security Operator and how it is integrated within uh, OpenShift Web Console. The Container Security Operator, or uh, CSO, uh, it brings QA and Claire metadata to Kubernetes or OpenShift cluster. The current version of the operator supports only uh, vulnerability information while the scope of the uh, future releases uh, might be uh, expanded to get more uh, details. The container security operator enables cluster administrators to monitor known container image vulnerabilities in uh, bots running within uh, the Kubernetes cluster or the OpenShift uh, clusters. The controller uh, sets up a watch on bots in the specified namespaces and query the container registry for vulnerability information. If the container registry supports image scanning, uh, like for example, Red Hat QA, then the operator uh, will expose any vulnerability found uh, via the Kubernetes APIs in a uh, custom object called image manifest vulnerability. This operator requires no additional configuration after deployment and will uh, begin watching all the bots and populating the uh, image vulnerability or the image manifest vulnerability objects uh, immediately once installed. As we can see uh, in this flow, users uh, just install the container security operator while uh, Red Hat is continuously providing the consolidated vulnerability feed to Quay where clear component uh, within Quay is scanning all the images stored uh, in your repository. And accordingly, uh, an image vulnerability report is generated. So from OpenShift perspective, the container security operator is observing all the generated reports and pulls the uh, available reports metadata to be presented in OpenShift console. This is uh, OpenShift Web Console, and uh, when you go to the overview, you can see the uh, number of image vulnerabilities. Once you click on the link, you get a summary report that shows the uh, vulnerabilities classified into high, medium, and low. Uh, when you uh, click on uh, view all, uh, you get the again the list of, of uh, image manifest vulnerability object. You can either uh, click on the link to show the uh, report or to see the report in OpenShift console or uh, click on the uh, source, right, the report, the source in uh, Quay registry uh, that takes you directly to uh, Quay uh, to show the uh, report uh, from Quay web console. So let's start with the uh, demo. So uh, this is uh, Quay web console. Uh, I'm accessing it right now from the uh, Quay uh, online registry uh, and uh, I have one repository, Tasks app. Uh, in this uh, repository, let's uh, quickly look at the tags. So right now I have two tags, one stage and one latest for the same image. And we can see the security uh, scanning report. Click on the report. This gives us the uh, report details and right now we have 198 vulnerabilities are detected in this image and we can see that those vulnerabilities are classified into high, medium and low. Uh, if we go through the uh, vulnerabilities, some of them for example are related to the libraries, for example this one is the uh, JDK vulnerability. Uh, while also the report will indicate how do we fix it. So in this, for example, the JDK vulnerability fix it in uh, release. There are some other uh, vulnerabilities. Uh, could be, for example, kernel related uh, vulnerability or uh, some operating system library vulnerabilities, like for example, this one or the uh, software collection from uh, Rel. So uh, there are some other details, like for example, the uh, image layers, right? Uh, but uh, as we said, we'll be focusing more on to the uh, vulnerability reports. So uh, just for, for us uh, to know where is the uh, security operator, right? You can always go to the operator hub, search for the container security operator. You will get the uh, project Quay container security. This is the uh, container security operator. 
Uh, and, and as we can see, just brief about the uh, security operator and uh, how it is integrated uh, inside the OpenShift uh, web console and how it is uh, pulling uh, all the uh, vulnerability reports uh, directly uh, into uh, or the metadata directly uh, into OpenShift or Kubernetes console uh, using the uh, vulnerability object. So if you go to the uh, OpenShift web console, and just copy the operator name and search uh, just yeah, remove the leading okay so we have the uh, quay container security operator and we can see that it is already installed i already installed it so once you click on the installed operators right you find the uh, quay container security operator once we click on it, we have the current project, which is the uh, stage uh, Quay project, right? And uh, let's see some images. Yes, so we have one uh, image here, and also I think we have, yes, we have also two images here. So we have uh, some images uh, stored in the OpenShift container registry right and uh, we also pushed some of those uh, images uh, to uh, quay uh, registry so uh, let's see now the uh, image manifest vulnerability yes so there is one detected here right and we can see that uh, this is an image our tasks app images uh, image sorry so this is the report as it was showing uh, on uh, quay web console and you can see all the uh, vulnerabilities detected here and we can see the summary also uh, including the high and uh, medium and uh, low and here it indicates where the image is installed or uh, stored on uh, Quay registry you can see that the same under the same repository well 2000 the uh, image is tasks app also the very importantly uh, point here is that we can see what are the affected bots right how many bots are currently running this container uh, image uh, you can also let's check maybe some other images okay yes we have one more image here and i think this is the uh, gogs that is used in in one of our uh, CICD pipeline demos, right? And once we click on the vulnerability, uh, it will take you to uh, the uh, vulnerability report, right? As uh, published in the Red Hat website, where you can see more uh, details about this vulnerability and the impact of the vulnerability and also the uh, fix of the uh, vulnerability if. Uh, exists.